It's now time to download and install the driver for use on the Mac computer using the USB cable with your Kyocera MA6000 IFX printer. Now we will download the latest Mac driver. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. This will take you to the download center. Here you should select your country or region. In our example, we are using USA. In the refined product area, type in MA6000 IFX. Now click on the Ecosys MA6000 IFX. Select your operating system from the list. In our example, we're using Mac OS X 10.9 or later. Scroll down and find the Mac printer driver 10.9 and up. Click on the blue download button as shown. A license agreement will appear. Scroll to the bottom. Select the agree to contract and download blue button. Open the download zip file. The Kyocera OS X 10.9 file ending in DMG will appear. Double click on the file. You have three options to use. Kyocera OS X 10.9 Plus Web Build Package, Mac Driver Setup Guide, or the Uninstaller Guide. Double click on the first option. Click Continue. Click Continue again. Click Continue one more time. Click on Agree to continue installing the software. Next, click on Install. If a password is asked for, please enter it. This software will begin to install. This may take a few minutes, so please be patient. When the install is completed, a green check mark will appear. Click on Close. You can keep the install file or move it to the trash. Insert the USB cable into the USB port at the rear of the printer. Connect the other end of the cable to your Mac computer. Now go to the System Preferences and select Printers and Scanners. On the Printers and Scanners page, click on the plus icon shown here. Look for Kyocera Ecosys MA6000 IFX under Search and the kind shown as USB. Highlight the entry as shown. At the bottom of the screen, select the Use pull-down and pick Select Software. From the Printer Software search box, type in MA6000 and highlight Kyocera Ecosys MA6000 IFX KPDL. Click on OK. At the bottom left, you can change the location and the name of your printer to whatever you want. On the bottom right of the page, click on Add. The Kyocera KPDL print driver is now installed. You can now share your printer on your network by clicking on this box and selecting Sharing Preferences. You can also make the PA6000X printer your default printer by selecting the pull-down. You should see Kyocera Ecosys PA6000X as a choice. Click on it. You can also set your default paper size. In most cases, you'll want U.S. letter. To close out, click on the Back button at the top left of the printer and Scanners window, and then click on the red Close button. Your printer driver is now installed and configured for your Mac computer.